Today I am going to measure myself for a corset. And this is the most detailed measurement chart I have found online, which I need because I have a very funny shape. Most people don't need to have something so complicated, but I am a little bit on the lopsided side, as you can see. I have one beautiful curve and you know, everything has an equal and opposite reaction. So that beautiful curve comes out this way on the other side. And I'm shorter on one side than the other, thanks to scoliosis. So I'm going to take some very complex measurements and submit those to one of the probably three different corset makers that come highly recommended on a Facebook group called the Tight Lacing Society. Over the nips, I think. Yeah, just right across the nip. So you are 39 and a half exactly. Wow. Hi, Hi sweetheart. Yeah, it's like 35 exactly. Where your ribcage ends, but not your waist. So that would be right actually where the curve is. Okay. That's your waist, isn't it? Well, yes, but it also happens to be where my ribcage is right here. Okay, so I want, but that's also your waist. So if you look at your th there's a diagram here, it's number three we're on. So right okay, above so your waist. Okay, so the bottom, yeah, right above the waist and then the waist. I think I'm right about where I am. Right? Yes, you are. Okay, we're gonna go for 34 and a half. The narrowest part of you is pretty easy to find. Yes, it's all relative. We're gonna also say 34 and a half. Hip bone's right here. Okay. I don't know if I wanna do the core of an inch exactly of measurement. I might just say 40, because it is first thing in the morning. The biggest part of your bum, which I know doesn't really exist. I don't have a bum. But it'd be like the, the flare of your everything, the widest <laughs> part. <laughs> that's probably, you, you can see that better than I can. It's probably <laughs> here. Yeah, that's 42. Okay. So we say this is... Wait, there's... I'm going to say an inch and a half. Wow. Yeah. Let them all see this. <laughs> okay, it's almost the same. I'm like, is that even a difference? I don't know. It should be because of the way I'm scrunching. I can even see how crooked I am in the film. Okay, I'm going to say about three-fourths of an inch. You know, measure your thing in order to get this straight. So down to that waist. Teddy. <laughs> I'm going to say half an inch. <laughs> waist to, I think I always measured right there was the widest part, yeah. Maybe six and a half. Six and a half looks right. Where your course ends. Okay. You want it down at seven. Uh, where do I want to go? Because you want to move. Yeah. Pivot. Let me see where you pivot from. Just like bend. Oh. Yeah, seven would be good for you. You can still okay. bend at seven. Still for seven. Bend. Thank you. That's okay. You can touch me. I'm going to say five and a half, actually. There we go. Find that same spot again. Lift. Are you calling the bra line or the waistline? It's line? the waistline. I'm just easier to figure on the side. Um, sorry, I'm finding your waist again to make sure I'm in the right spot. Yeah, I'm in the right spot. Six and a half? Or you, yeah, six and a half. I'm going to say, I think it's up. I'm going to go side like I said, so I don't have so much meat. Four and three fourths. Yeah, right on it. We're good. Yours, your, this side's waist is about evil without, just about. Level with your bust. I'm going to say five and a quarter just because. Yeah, five and a quarter. From the boning, which will be like right in there to this point where we ended. Bend for me, bend forward. Okay. Nine and a half, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I'm going to take those measurements and submit them, like I said, to three makers see what the advice they have if they want to take on the project. I've gotten a couple corsets back um, and answers from only about two people really that were reasonable. So Lucy's corsetry has been working with me very well and told me about how different things would work. This is Rebel Madness Waist Cincher, also known as a waspy, because I'm so short-waisted I'm interested in trying this out. It will theoretically be below the bust line and right at the hip line. We'll see. Uh, she has told me about some possible problems with this. 
for my body type, but I want to try it on and see if it's something I can work with. This corset is a regular type of corset, what everybody thinks of, so it is definitely going to be a typical underbust, going definitely under my bust line and over my hips. Ideally, it's going to give me some curves. She recommends this one very strongly because it has a higher back, so it can reduce the muffin top I have over here. And But the hips might be flare. So again, I wanted to try it out to see what I'm willing to work with, if this is going to be good for me or not. The beautiful thing about this Rebel Madness corset is it has enough string in the back for me to actually close it. This is still a 28. It was the same size as my Josephine corset that I had that I've worn to death. So, other than the lack of grace, I should be able to put this on. Now, the joke is I have tried watching videos and um, cinching my own corset in the back as a piece of cake. You just get the two middle pieces and pull them out and keep pulling them out. But, um, focused on me. This, it doesn't work for me because A, my shoulder doesn't work and B, I'm very crooked. So, I'm having my lovely assistant, my lady in waiting, cinch me up. Shall I turn around? Yeah, so not full around, but like this. Like this. Da, 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 da. There we go. Um, I'm going to have you then show, I don't know, <laughs> what are we doing up here? Best for me, but... Okay, hold your middles for a sec. Okay. Your knot is on the bottom. I think you have it upside down. No, the knot is supposed to be on the bottom. The knot is, is on up here. That's not the bottom. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant to say. Okay. Well, well let's undo it and put it on. Well, actually, but look at these. The flowers we had, the lace we had going on the bottom sure. before. All right, so the rope knot is on the top for this one. So, as you can see, I am so short-waisted that this reaches quite up to my bust. It looks really straight here. I'm going to keep my arm following this line. Turn around slowly. Keep following. Keep turning. Keep turning. There. Stop. Because when she's moving her shoulder blades, your shoulder blades, you can go up and down, side to side. It, it'll start running into right there and yeah, there. Does. So she doesn't have the freedom of movement. You can also see how horribly off-center this is. So you can get a whole fist in the side here. It's nice and pretty tight for what it is. And then you have this guy. You can turn a little bit again. He's buckling and twisting. You can see this particular hook. It's twisted here. And it's twisted there. And it's flat there. Well, this one's all nice and flat. And then we have this bone, which you don't really want to see doing that. It's not enough structure for her body. It's not twisting as bad as it was the first time I tried it on. We want it to be looking more like this side, where it's fairly straight, but this is still taking a lot of tension right there. And then just straight on from the back so you can really see, and then turn around slowly so we can see you. It doesn't look so bad when you look at the front. When you look at the back, it's kind of a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> and there's not much I can do about the wing. Um, the hips are sitting better today, which makes me need yeah, full hips today. So sitting in this is very comfortable. I can even cross my legs. I'm a very big leg crosser. I look very proper. I like it, except the fact that it is buckling in the back already. This is only going to be good for five or six wears before it's hurting me like my other corset that I'm trying to replace is. So very, very sadly, as pretty as this is, this is not what I'm looking for. It's not strong enough to put up with my body. And we're not even tight-laced. So, sadly, this one has to go back to Lucy's. It doesn't do anything for this part of the silhouette. Um, most of the time, I'm still kind of thick-looking. But I'm, I'm trying to achieve symmetrical curves. Kind of used to the back being a bit of a mess. Because... Most of the time I'm going to wear clothes um, over my corsets anymore, it seems. Um, but I did want to wear this over a couple of outfits that I have. 
and it's not going to work. I we did try that, and I can't get the corset small enough. Thus, getting me small enough to get those outfits on without absolutely wrenching the back of it. Sadly, this one has to go back. So I'm going to remove this one, and then we'll demonstrate the Artemis. Next is the Artemis corset. This one is by True Corset. Handily comes with instructions on how to lace your corset. And again, I'm hopeless in that. My um, lady-in-waiting has to work way too hard to straighten up anything that I try to self-do, so I just don't anymore. To know which side is the top, there's even a pretty little heart. So people like me who don't know which is up and down are okay. Plus there's a knot at the bottom of the lacing. That is a standard on corsets. It was not on my last one that I tried, but um, it is on this one. There. Again, it has enough lacing in the back that I can't put this on, and it's still a size 28. Do you need help? Oh, I will probably will need help. Did it? Oh, go! <gasps> oh my gosh! Ooh, I haven't done that in ages. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Okay, boys and girls. Ooh, shall I be brave and try to destroy this corset? Please don't. Okay. The recommendation is not because if this corset doesn't fit well and has to go back, we want as little destruction on it as possible. We want it to go back as though nobody wore it at all. Okay, my lady in waiting. You're on. Hi, me. Hi. This is my beautiful lady in waiting. Yeah. I'm pretty. <laughs> I keep telling her that in the hope that she'll quit making those really silly faces. Then just turning her around and manhandle her. Let's check out what I, what I got to work with here. It doesn't twist as bad as the other one did. It actually barely twists. It's just I'm not satisfied with what it does. Alright, so brief show. There's the amount of backspace she has. It's probably a good like almost six inches, maybe five and a half, six. Wow. Yeah. And she wanted me to get a twenty-six inch? Yeah. And then there's this part, which I can't get my fist in, which is good. This is a bit snugger, no twisting and buckling right here and here. There is extra fabric. It's nice and high, keep your arm up there and I'm over the other side and then I'll show the front. This side is pretty nice and there's a little bit of a twist going right into here but it's very small it's more like a very tiny little cup so it's not ruining on its first try, first wear. Then I come over here this I can almost get my fist in at least three maybe four fingers in that gap. This is another three finger gap but it goes all the way from here to here for three fingers and then two fingers and it's as tight as I can get it. And then we have the front, which does actually not look so bad, except for this still. All right, my head. So I was warned by Lucy on both of these corsets as to how the fit might be. Uh, this one does have a flare this time. I am gonna be, I do wear it by corsets over skirts generally. Uh, now obviously if they're on top of my clothes. And so the flare of the skirts can hide that. And this is kind of cute, but I don't know. Well, I conveniently have skirts laying around in my craft room, and cosplay room, so I threw one on over the corset, and that's kind of cute. If you think of things back in the Victorian era when they wore a little hip thing to give yourself some more spring on your corsets, there are some things I'm willing to work with and some things I'm not willing to accept. Uh, my old Josephine also had a gap over here and snugged over here. I expect some muffin top. This is a high-backed corset. So it's supposed to not give as much. It doesn't. There's not nearly as much as usual. That's nice. That's nice. That's uh. That's something I can definitely see. Or see that there's less of. So I'm not quite certain if I will be keeping this one or not at this point. I'm just gonna have to show the gap. And light absorbing black. Not buckling. This is a bit of an intense one, but it's not buckling. Mm -hmm. 
more his leg. Like in stress, but not buckling. Turn this way. Shine into the gap. <laughs> the gap, which is convenient to put cell phones in. <laughs> Turn some more. It's kind of cute. I can't make a decision at this point. You'll notice that on the, both of these corsets, there is no modesty panel. I don't know how I feel about that, but this is lined up so much better in the back than even my Josephine was. I can sit, I can lean forward. This is fabulous. It means I can actually put shoes on after my corset's on. Um, a little bit of back and forth. I can sit back. This is really good. When you're at a con, anything that you do is a long time in a corset. I do plan on training myself into it. Um, on the side here, I'm kind of gathering that I'm not going to get a silhouette that squishes my middle flat like that. I'm not going for an S curve silhouette, which does and it gives you a booty. I don't have a booty. You can't get something from nothing. So I do like it. Uh, I like it better than the first time I tried it on. The beautiful thing about Lucy's corsetry, who is not sponsoring me by any means, is that she does have a 30 day return policy. So it gives you a chance to try things out a couple times. I do believe she probably hopes I'm not wearing it to a con and changing my mind in mid midway. But um, a couple of 15 minute sessions isn't bad. And this does have a little bit of a twist in the back. I don't, I'm not positive that it's strong enough, but it does have more bones than that Rebel Madness course it did. And that says a lot. I'm used to a bit of a gap here. Again, today, the gap's not so bad. I blame it on Christmas dining. Now I happen to get a third corset from another company, uh, Mystic City Corsets. And they come also widely recommended on Tight Lacing Society. I'm gonna go get that and show you the difference between that and these two. It may help me make a decision about this also. Last but not least is my Mystic City Corset. This is, it came in this wonderful bag. They um, have a 14 day return policy. So you can bet I tried this on. This one has hip ties, so that can actually expand for days when I'm more hippie, which is not likely to happen for me. It's not like a hippin' for you? <laughs> I have belly days as opposed to hip days. And unlike the other two, this has a modesty panel. This is a boned modesty panel. It is anchored in with the ties and so you won't forget as if having hip ties isn't enough to remind you. And Mystic City corset is sewn throughout the inside interior paneling to help you remember which way is up. Again this has enough rope in the back to allow me to put it on myself. Let's find out what I can do. All right, this is also a high-backed one, and it came recommended for an Apple figure. According to the measurements that I gave, I chose it. Yes, I am an Apple. And uh, skinny arms and skinny legs and a belly. All right, the magic. Let it begin. <laughs> yeah, <I love> it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of flair. So I brace this, pull this. It's like pull, tighten. doing all this, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but a friend of mine asked me if wearing a corset hurts. Um, if a corset fits well and does what it's supposed to be, it does not cause pain. It might after four or five hours, but... So if you can see that when I'm doing this, I have the top two and I'm working with the next sets to make sure it doesn't buckle. So I'm pulling in the one that's buckling first and then I pull in the top and I support it with the middle one. And then go back to the, the one that's the issue that's buckling. <laughs> and I kind of just pull the slack through that way. And that way it doesn't twist. There. Okay, okay this is beautiful. Uh, in my ever so humble opinion. I didn't make it, so I can say that. It has something like 20... Bones? Panels? It's like something like 20 bones. And of course the accompanying panels. So this is going to have a lot of support. It actually may have more. I'll have to look that up. And 
we left it a little bit loose for this for right now. You don't always have to have everything super snug. It's, I'm used to something like this. This also has a high back. There isn't any chafing going on. And um, I can wear this over my clothes that I want to to show this off. It's just too pretty not to. And the lacings, like I said, right now I'm good and tight. And over here on the side, I can only get two fingers in. That's pretty a big deal. That's the best fitting corset out of the three I've tried today. And uh, Mystic City Corset has a 14 day return policy. They say, you know, no more than 15 minutes, just enough to try it on. And this is the second time I've tried it on. Third. Okay, this is the third time I've tried it on. I'm keeping it. Um, the back looks good. Yeah, way better than the other two. Okay. And I have two curves. This is strong. Nothing is buckling out of the ordinary. I kind of think that this supported modesty panel has a lot to do with it. I feel good wearing this. I don't want to get out of it. Now, Mystic City Corset is one the other company that did respond to me. There were four that responded. And for making it an asymmetrical corset, the, um, of course, they want me right there. Mystic City doesn't do asymmetrical corsets. So that's one of the reasons I came to the conclusion that just buy something that I like and fits and does what I want it to do and face up to the fact that it's going to have a shorter lifespan than I'd like it to have. But the comfort factor, no. Oh, that is really nice to sit back. I can cross my legs. It's not advisable, but I can. Is it easier or harder than the black one? It's harder to cross my legs in this one than it is in the black one. This is lovely. This is, um, can't lean forward as much. It does come down a little bit lower. I need to pull it up, actually. Oh. It just slid down a little bit my legs. The lacing that she tightened over here when she did that, it didn't hurt. It actually felt good. Like, ah, oh, yes, that's where that belongs. That feels better. And like I said, this side, my problem side, really doesn't look bad at all. And again, I'm going to have a blouse underneath this of some sort. So super, super small there. I mean, I can hit three fingers and push it, but I could probably tighten it a little bit more. Turn for me this way. Yeah. So you see this, I can pull this and this and all of this. So I can actually get this part that much snugger, which will leave probably like that much room there. The thing with this corset is that if we are able to get it modified, we can either do this panel and half the top of it, and that would solve all her problems, or take out almost this entire section of this panel and then solve her problem. So in the future, she could pretty easily modify it to get rid of any kind of gap. Keep turning here. I did notice when I was tightening it that if I just tighten the top here, and I have to watch, I'll make it happen. And you can see the bending starting here. Right through that one. So tighten this here and pull on this so you can see it. Let's see, you can see how I loosen that up. So that's what I was having to complain about earlier is that I do need to support this part so this pulls in when I do the top, which does make it a little bit harder on your hands. But you know, for beauty. You won't always be yeah. doing <laughs> oh, three courses in one day. Yeah, either. I don't want to be doing three courses in one day either, so that will help. Um, how nice the back is. If you want to put down your arms so you can see how maybe as measurable it is, but you know, whatever. Keep them down so you can see the back. This is her spine because you know her spine does like have this. Let's go this is. Shoulders look pretty good. How's your mobility in your shoulders? It looks like it goes above them so it's not going to hit the shoulder blades at all. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, one of my other concerns is, let's see if I can get the focus on on this part. There we go. See how the pink shirt's showing through without the modesty panel? But the modesty panel's up there and then over here. You can see this is the struggle side, so I need to make sure the modesty panel is underneath this side to support it. Not so much this side, because this side, as you can see, is not under any kind of stress. Um, arms up again. So I'm going to look at the sides. So this panel is supporting it. It's not twisting. It's not happy. It bends the width in a nice compliment angle. Turn. <laughs> Pull your strings. This one, which is kind of strange, is, is the straighter side and not supported, not pulling at all, even though it's the one I tug on constantly. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. We're gonna look at this side. Oh, I'll warm up a little bit. There you go. So this is pretty snug. I actually can loosen this side when I'm tightening this side. I can basically pull the entire corset that way. Um, it does actually need to sit up a little bit higher on her, which I kind of worry about rubbing her arm in that case. 
and turn, turn, turn. So this side, actually this side would be a tiny bit lower, and this side would be a tiny bit higher. And I'd rotate this that way, which might give me more of an upper gap. I did straighten out the silhouette a bit more. So when you watch people lace up their corsets on YouTube, all they do is pull this. It's not a problem at all. And everything comes out evenly. I mean, I'm pulling evenly. They're actually even. Keep going. And... Sometimes you have to grab back and pull. Then it gets a little bit tougher because... You see. Oh! Is that it? Is that that is it. Whoa, almost. Is that a workout I need to do? That is it. That is what I can do. Then do a little turn so I can see it from the back and everything too. There's my beautiful gap. That's okay. What's that look like? <laughs> Let's see if I can help you think of a little bit further. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's blood under my fingernail. At some point in time, I hurt myself. Oh, babe. All right. There. Try try pull again. Okay. No. Nope. Let's see if I can just do a straight pull for you. <laughs> ah. So sometimes you have to like um, change your which places you're pulling. So this is the top, and this is the bottom. That's still really not very good. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, that looks almost right. Oh. And then you turn this way, and then you go, like, oh, there's a fist, and there's a almost fist, and that's a fist all the way around. <laughs> Keep turning. Yeah. And then that's pretty loose. This. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. I'm trying not to get blood in your corset. And that's, that's not doing anything. That's definitely not doing anything. That's really <laughs> not doing anything. So, yeah, that's what happens when you just try to pull it and just tighten a little bit more like normal people. Yeah, I mean, they do show that they will go through the straps and and adjust them, but I don't really have, I can't tell one thing from another behind me. So this is why I have my lady in waiting. This is why it might help you to have an assistant also in getting dressed. Well, these are the trials of somebody with scoliosis trying on corsets and trying to find something that makes, that works and having a lady in waiting who is very aware of trying to make things asymmetrical. I don't. I do that. I have this beautiful curve over here and nothing over here. So she does give me at least a semblance of symmetry. Um, it's beautiful fabric, but that's not what's the selling point. The fact that it fits that well, a little bit loose under here. Again, I wear skirts when I'm I do. I'm still tighten that part of the toe still too. Yeah, and that can still be tightened up a bit. This is a little bit loose, hardly at all, not really noticeable. Again, with posing with a blou an actual blouse under it, it's going to be a lot less noticeable. And it actually sits just naturally pretty close to your skin anyway. The other ones sit out and flare out, and this one sits pretty close. The combinations of fitting uh, don't work, then the course is not going to be a good buy for me. This, there is nothing that I am accommodating. There is nothing that I say, well, I can put up with that. This I expect. This I expect. And with a high back, it's considerably less. We now know that a size 28 is pretty good. Lucy kept recommending a size 26. I've got enough of a gap in here with a 28 that I think that this is a probably good size for me, knowing what my tummy does most of the time. The 26 would probably help clear up that side gap. Think so? Lucy did. Like, yeah. yeah. Maybe I will try 26. Can't hurt. Great return policies on everybody. Um, yeah, so I there, there may be videos coming out in the future that... Show me trying out other things and help other people with scoliosis find a corset that fits them and understand what they have to go through. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.